Functional Physio presents ePoster 2020, associated by Mind Academy and Sportsman. Presenter Shivan Kare on title task oriented training in stroke patients. Hi, my name is Shivang Kare. I'm a Bachelor of Physiotherapy student from Galgotia's University. I'm a third year student in this Minded Association organized e-poster making competition. My topic is task oriented training in stroke patient that how exactly the task oriented training or TOT helps in the process of rehabilitation. So first, what exactly stroke is? So stroke is a kind of neurological deficit of motor impairment which involves rupturing or the occlusion of blood vessels of brain. Either the stroke is caused by the rupturing or by the occlusion. And uh, here in this poster, I quoted an article by NCBI that stroke is one of the second leading cause of death worldwide of annual mortality rate of 5.5 million. Like it's such a huge number that lots of people are died because of stroke. So how the process of TOT help in this rehabilitation process? Before jumping to the exact process, I want to deliver the meaning of exactly the task oriented and the training. So we are performing different kinds of tasks in our daily lifestyle. Like if I'm recording this, uh, my audio, it's a task for me. If you are hearing this record, it's a task for you. Similarly, as we compared with our, our daily lifestyle, like if I'm brushing in the morning, if I have to walk, if I'm eating, if I'm writing, if I'm performing any kind of task and involves a kind of brain or it involves a kind of neurological connection. Moving to oriented part, what means orientation? Orientation means performing a work in an organized or in a directional way. And what exactly training means? Training means it's a kind of training program or the training session. So what exactly task oriented training means? It's a kind of rehabilitative process which is performed in an organized or in a directional way. A particular task is performed in an organized or a directional way for speedy recovery of a patient suffering from a stroke. So in my poster, I just try to simplify the process of TOT in a simplified manner. I, I just make uh, different kinds of arrows in the process and which are basically coded from different kind of references of articles. So TOT first, first task oriented training, then that leads to restoration of functional ability after stroke that after stroke in the process of uh, recovery, it helps in the, re, uh, it basically targets on the restoration of functional uh, movements or restoration of functional ability of a patient. Secondly, it leads to activates the brain speech and memory centers. Like it's an example I quoted here. What exactly neurophysiological change here is seen by the process of task oriented training. Like it involves activation of brain speech and memory center as an example. Similarly, it leads to enhances the rehabilitation process like if we, it's task oriented training works on various principles and that leads to uh, enhances the rehabilitation process and in an ultimate level, it basically improves the ADL activity like activities of daily lifestyle of an stroke suffering patient. So for the uh, increasing the efficacy of rehabilitation process, this task oriented training program is being designed for that particular stroke rehabilitation process of a patient. So before performing this task oriented training, there are some key features we have to take in our mind. Like there is in first key feature I uh, and hi highlighted about that the challenging, that task must be challenging. So what exactly challenges does? Challenges basically focuses on the facilitated learning process. Like if we are giving a different kinds of hurdles or if we are giving uh, different kinds of challenges to the stroke patient in this recovery process that basically helps in the facilitated learning process. Second key feature is progressive and adaptable. Like what means progressive and adaptable means like patient is able to adapt those activities, adapt those tasks which should be performed in a progressive manner. What exactly this done? This basically enhances the motor skill, 
movements like it basically enhances the skilled processing system of an stroke patient so and the third point is in this is key feature like interested and the meaningful the task must be interested and the meaningful like it should be directional it should be oriented like if we are performing different kinds of work in our daily lifestyle then there it is a kind of interest we are showing in that similarly if a stroke patient perform that particular task that must be meaningful full that uh, that must be meaningful for that particular patient that must be inter interested for according to that particular patient so what exactly done this basically involves the patient engagement and involves the problem solving processes and enhances the problem solving processes so if we combine all these key features of tot like what they basically involves the facilitative learning processes by improving the skilled motor movements and which involves according to the patient engagement and the problem solving process so now we will talk about how exactly this tot works i just here in my poster uh, quoted three example of rehabilitation process for the tot program first one is like virtual reality second one is robotics and third one is the task and waiting system so in modern era is a technology era like we are treating patient on technology basis for their fast recovery for their improving their quality of life so i just combined that tot program of rehabilitation with these three pro, uh, with these three targeted uh, uh, targeted techniques so first i want to discuss about the virtual reality so virtual reality uses a uh, computer interference between the user and the computer it's a real time stimulation of environment involving the real time feel of the environment and third one is it's a multi model sensory channel for user interaction like it involves various kinds of intervention in its own as a virtual reality program second one i quoted about the robotics assisted rehab so it basically a kind of device which is work on the sensory acquisition and intelligence cap capability for facilitating the motor responses of that particular uh, rehabilitated patient and third i quoted about the target unwitting system which involves a dynamic suspension system which is basically work on the cog principle and what called cog it's a central of gravity principle and uh, involving the vertical displacement during normal gait and the accessory target step step up so these are the basic kind of techniques i use it so what we can do from this task oriented training it basically if we use this training in the rehabilitation process combinedly then in a task oriented manner then they all will give a kind of better result but there is an thing like we have to direct this task according to the patient comfort and the patient ability to perform that particular task but you know on the other hand if we are talking about what task oriented training does like if we combine multiple dimensional techniques then they will enhances the re they will enhances that rehabilitation process first thing and second thing is they exactly help or they exactly speed up the recovery process so i just course quoted some uh, advantages here like it's help in fast recovery effective training in acute stroke patient help in increasing in the step length and walking speed improve coordination balance and coordination skill but there is a major disadvantage for this tot program like there is a kind of technical error we have to suffer from there is a kind of excessive use may cause to the damage to the soft tissue so these are the kind of advantage and the disadvantage of this task oriented training program if we use uh, multiple dimensional training programs or multiple di dimensions of rehabilitation processes technique in a, at a time like they basically uh, damages or they basically affect uh, soft tissue if we use excessively or there might be a kind of technical error so in the last i just quoted about various kinds of articles from where i just took the references and thank you and thank you for giving me such an amazing opportunity to deliver my content on this platform
Thank you. Thanks.